My name is Chris Sturgis, and I want to thank you for working with Sturgis Credit Repair. In this video, I'm going to sign up myself, showing you step by step how to sign up for the service, what happens next, and how to use your online account. All right, so here we are signing up for Sturgis Credit Repair. So the first thing you're going to notice once you get to SturgisCreditRepair.com, you're going to visit our homepage. And right here, you see a big button that says sign up for credit repair. It is that simple. You just click sign up. Now, many of you who are trying to sign up for the service may have questions such as how much is the service? How long does it take? How you're going to be updated? Pretty much everything that you guys can think of, we've already got that figured out. You can click this button here that says learn more or at the top that says credit repair details. Click any one of those and it's going to bring you to our credit repair details page. So we have pretty much helped you guys out. You don't have to call in and get an answer. You don't need to wait on an email back to ask questions. Everything that you can possibly think about, you know, having questions on anything in regards in regards to the service. We have it answered right here on the website. How much it costs? How long does it take? You know, what can be done? How you're going to be updated? Every single thing that you can possibly think of guys is right here. You just click the question and it has to answer. So based on our, on our years of experience, we hear the same questions every single day. Therefore, we know what you guys are thinking. So again, the credit repair details page is your best friend before you sign up, okay? Um, so to continue signing up, you guys can just click the button here that says sign up now or go back to the home page, whichever, whichever one. Um, and you're going to click the sign up button. Okay. And just that easy. Again, you click sign up for credit repair. There are some details here, but I'm pretty sure you guys have read that already. If you're watching this video. Um, and again, if you have any issues signing up guys, email us info at Sturgis I have it right here. Okay. So just email us if you guys have any issues. All right. So once you get to the sign up page, it's going to ask you for your first name and your last name, along with your email address. It's going to ask for more information as you're ordering your credit reports. OK, so once you fill this in, click the button that says get started for free today. Zero dollars. We do not charge any type of upfront service fee to start our service. You can start up and we start the process for you and do not collect a dime from you as far as the service payment now if you're signing up as a individual again this is super easy you click the plan here that says get started under the individual plan if you are signing up as a couple husband and wife wife and husband husband and husband wife and wife whatever you are you have to do this for each one of y'all so if you as the wife sign up first and you select the couple's plan be sure to do this with your husband once the phone numbers the address and the card on file links up guys both accounts are automatically going to merge up so don't worry if one person has to sign up first and the spouse has to sign up later people do it all the time okay so again if you're signing up as a couple select the couple's plan complete the enrollment and then your spouse will also visit sturgis credit repair and do the same thing both accounts will merge okay um, so as far as me, I am signing up as a individual. All right. So once you submit your information, you're going to come down here. You're going to put a card on file. Okay. This is the card that's going to be used for services. As you see here, first work fee, this is not going to be due until 30 days from now, the next month. You can always request a different date change if that date don't, doesn't work. But as of right now, billing is every 30 days. OK, so starting today, you're paying zero dollars to start our service. OK, now you do have to order your credit reports. The credit report provider does charge a one dollar fee. But again, that does not go to us. We do not collect any type of upfront fees. This one dollar strictly goes to ordering your credit reports. And that goes to the provider that you're going to sign up with next. Next part is signing our credit repair agreement. This is not a contract of how long you need to stay enrolled. This is just a agreement giving us permission and authorization to work on your credit. We have to send this in to the credit bureau. So if you do not sign this, guys, they will not process our disputes. OK, so sign your signature here. Just scribble your name somehow and then click submit. Once you submit that, we're going to get started 
and you're gonna be enrolled in our service once you complete this enrollment. Next, you wanna set a password for Sturgis Credit Repair. So anytime you wanna visit our website and log into your online account to check your credit scores or your updates, Remember, this is gonna be your login, your email address, as well as whatever password that you're typing in here. Now it's time to order your credit reports. This is the part that you pay to $1 to get your credit reports from all three credit bureaus. Sometimes people have an issue with this and they're, I guess their identity can't be confirmed or verified. If this happens to you, email us at info at sturgiscreditrepair.com. Just send us an email. Do not get to the error page and stop guys. Please email us so we can fix it and we can get you fully enrolled. So once you're ready, just click this green button here that says, okay, ready to set up. And again, you're gonna just complete these four steps. You're gonna type in a password for your credit monitoring account and you're gonna click get started now. Here, you're just gonna enter in basic information, name, address, um, you know, your state, zip code, phone number, everything else. So now, once you have entered all of this information in, it is now gonna import into our system so we'll have it. And then you just click, you know, continue and you're gonna follow through the steps and then you're gonna pay your $1 and then your credit reports will import. Once you have ordered your credit reports, the next step is uploading your driver's license. If you're on a phone or a computer, this process is the same, guys. You simply just click this button here. Since I am on a computer, I am gonna click upload image using computer. That easy. Got the driver's license uploaded. This is just a fake ID because this is just a example here. And then you're gonna click next. And then the last thing that we would need to do is upload proof of residence. So although your driver's license may have your address on it already, the credit bureau still require two forms of identity, okay? So that's one is gonna be your driver's license, and then the second form is gonna be proof of residence. So anything you have with your name and address on it, this can be a utility bill, phone bill, light bill, water bill. If you have a, I don't know, a bank account or a credit card statement that you can upload the cover photo, uh, I guess the cover page of it with your name and address, just upload that. Whatever you can find with your name and address on it, guys, upload it. This is gonna be proof of residence. Whatever you do or whatever you use, please make sure the letter is outside of the envelope. A lot of times people take a picture of their mail still in the envelope, the credit bureaus will reject that. So whatever you upload, be sure it's a screenshot of an actual bill, okay? Not something still inside of the envelope. And just that easy. I got my utility bill right here uploaded and then click next. And then I'm gonna be all complete. Once you guys have finished that, it is gonna say 100% complete. The credit monitoring part here on my side still says complete now. And that's because this is just a test, you know, for the video, I haven't completed it. But on you guys side, this full bar here will tell you that you're 100% complete and then we're gonna get started. So let's go to step two. So once you completed setting up your account, we're gonna get notified and we're gonna start the process during business hours, okay? Our system is gonna pretty much highlight everything that's affecting your credit reports and we're gonna challenge all of those negative items with the credit bureaus. Now, as soon as we do that, you guys are gonna receive this email, okay? So this first email is gonna be a report. It's gonna tell you what your credit scores are. If you scroll down, it's gonna show you all the negative accounts that's on your credit reports. It's gonna tell you the account name, which bureau is negative on, as well as why it's negative. So for example, this here is a Hancock Whitney bank account. It is negative on all three credit reports. And then this customer was late 30 days one time, okay? So every little detail you need to know about that account, it's gonna be here in this report, guys. So check your email. If you don't receive this, check your spam because a lot of times, you know, it may go to your spam folder if it's not in your inbox, okay? So again, you can scroll down some more. You can see any hard inquiries you have on your credit as well as your credit card utilization. If your credit cards are maxed out, guys, I highly recommend paying those down throughout the process. So that way, as you pay down your credit card utilization, you know, your score is gonna be less affected by something else holding them down while we work on the negative accounts. Other than that, you're also gonna receive a second email showing everything that we're gonna be working on 
uh, for this first round. And this is a good example of the report that I was telling you that you will receive as soon as we start our process, guys, you're gonna receive this notification in your email. This isn't something you need to respond to or reply to. This again is just all the negative accounts that we're gonna be working on. So you may see accounts on here several times. That's because there's three credit bureaus. So, you know, this is something you guys, you know, don't need to really worry about. This is just a notification that we have processed all of those negative accounts. <laughs> So now the very last important part about signing up for our service is understanding how to use your online account, okay? So you're probably wondering after we have started the process the first month, how you get your updates, when can you check in, and you know, what's going on, you know? So you you never have to worry about asking us, you know, for an update because your online account will automatically update every 30 days. And I'm going to show you guys how to get back into your account, how to check for your updates, see how your credit scores changed and see what items on your credit reports changed. Okay. So whenever you enroll, you never have to email us or call us the week after wondering what's going on. Because remember, these accounts have to be in dispute for 30 days plus your credit reports only update once a month okay so the only time you need to be worrying about an update guys is every 30 days because nothing changes before then so the very first thing you do when you get ready to check your updates every 30 days is go to sturgiscreditrepair.com and click this button here log in as easy as that once you get to this page, you're going to enter in the username that you have created for Sturgis Credit Repair in step one of this video whenever you are creating your online account. If you don't remember your login, it is as simple as requesting your password here. Once you enter in your email and your password that you use, just click login. And remember, if it has been 30 days, the credit monitoring service that you signed up for will automatically import your credit scores and your reports into your portal here. So just for an example here, guys, this is uh, August. So we're just gonna pretend this person here signed up in July, okay? This is just a fake profile that we set up earlier. So July 31st of 2024, you know, you started at a 600 and now 30 days later, today, August 31st, 2024, 650 okay this is just an example guys i'm just using this just to help you guys understand how to use your account so this is how you track your credit scores now to the right of this or if you're on your phone to the bottom of this you're going to see dispute status and this is how you actually check what was deleted and what still you know is being processed as far as disputing um, so right here in this chart, you see that one item was deleted from Equifax, one item was deleted from Experian, and one item was deleted from TransUnion, as well as one item is still in dispute, which means we're still working on these uh, for every single credit bureau here. So if you scroll down, you can see, see detailed view, click that, and you can actually see the accounts, guys. So right here this verizon wireless collection account it was deleted you can you know click it click it to see why it was deleted what date it was deleted whatever you need to see and then right here capital one bank this item is still in dispute which means we're still working on it so those emails in the second step of this video where it shows all the negative items that we're challenging you're going to receive that email every single month whenever we process new disputes as well as a new report showing your changes. So you have your online account to where you can log in every 30 days to see what changed and what didn't change along with getting uh, email alerts if you guys don't wanna log in every single month. So there's there shouldn't be any reason why you shouldn't know where your credit scores are, what's being worked on, what was deleted because you guys see everything that you're wondering about. On top of that, the credit bureaus will also mail results. So we're gonna receive mail as well as you are gonna receive mail from the credit bureaus and the creditors that are reporting these negative accounts. So, you know, there shouldn't be any excuse why you guys, you know, aren't in the loop with this process because you see everything that we're doing throughout the whole entire service. So other than that, guys, this is how you use your online account to check your updates. Anytime you have a question, you know, you can message us here and start a new message and just send a message directly to Sturgis Credit Repair. Maybe you need to change a payment date. Maybe you have 
uh, moved and you need to update the address so we can update it on our disputes. Whatever it is, guys, you can message us there. Our phone number and everything is right here at the top. Once you are a enrolled client, we can possibly schedule a consultation and go over your details if you wish. Uh, but other than that, guys, it is real simple and easy to use your online account here. This is going to be your best friend while you're enrolled in the credit repair service. Yes, it pays to have good credit. You would always want to be on the side of having good credit. Do you think it pays to have good credit?